Hi everyone. I know it has been a little while since I have done a video and I do apologize for that. I am a busy mom and there's been a lot of things going on and then we've had sickness going around but I am back and I uh, wanted to talk to you guys about the similarities of the Roman Empire and the U.S. And if you guys have watched some of my previous videos, I've talked about Tartaria and I've really been digging into our history and wanting to learn more. And one of the things that I noticed going over like the world fairs and studying Washington, um, there is so much architect that reminds me of the Roman Empire. Uh, I've also seen a little bit of what reminds me to be Greece. And like I said, I'm learning more about Tartaria and looking into those things as well. But I cannot get over the similarities between the Roman Empire and the U.S. Not just architect. But our government, the way things are set up, and the way that things are going these days. And I'm sure most of you know, we were founded for quite a few of the same reasons. They were outcasts from their home countries, the people. They wanted independence from kings. They established republics. Um, they went to war against neighbors, their capitals. Uh, the republic expanded, foreign wars. And I mean, the similarities just go on and on. And, of course, looking at the World Fairs, I believe it was the Chicago World Fair that I noticed it just looked like Rome. <laughs> and uh, that made me really intrigued to look into that as well. And there's just so many things about history that haven't been written correctly. And we find out years later. And the question is, are we Rome? Well, no, I don't think we're actually Rome. But did the Roman Empire completely fall? I mean, the thought that with the Roman Empire that they were just done after that seems very unlikely to me. What about you? I do believe that the fall of Rome is a great guide for the U.S. and the direction that we're heading. One of the first reasons for the collapse of Rome was cheap labor. And the U.S. is known for cheap foreign labor. And what this does is make it to where our citizens do not have jobs and it's all shipped to foreign areas which is already an existing problem in the U.S. today, which will create the same problem that we see in the U.S. and that we saw in Rome, dependence on the government. So the first downfall was shipping foreign labor to make it cheaper. The U.S. already does this. The second downfall to the Roman Empire was their debt. Once things escalated for the Roman Empire, they had to build up their military. This took a lot of money, and this raised their taxes. And this got to where the people were so poor that they begged for debt forgiveness. And Julius Caesar was one of the ones that offered free bread and entertainment to appease the people. We see this occurring in the U.S. today with student loan forgiveness and tons of other things that people wish would be free, including medical. Now, during the Roman Empire, in order for their debt forgiveness, they gave up the right to vote. Think about that for a second. Now, the third reason for the fall of the Roman Empire is a reminder to the U.S. also. Printing money does not save economics. And while I'm going over this, I've actually put up a thing on the screen that you guys can look at to compare our governments. And it's very interesting to look at. It doesn't mean that we are Rome, but it does show that we can make the same mistakes that Rome made that led to their demise. And as the Roman Empire grew, so did their greed. They quit using their coins and started printing more money to try to save their economy. And this occurred with more than just one leader, which led to major inflation and there was no turning back. And their coins became worthless. We see these same, same things happening in the U.S. today. And it makes me wonder why our leaders aren't better about history. The things that they could learn from past mistakes and not repeat them. But it seems like we're just destined to follow the fall of Rome, but I hope not. And this leads me to the next problem with the Roman Empire that caused them to fall, which was underestimating their enemies, the barbarians. While Roman Empire was known for crushing larger enemies, the barbarians got the better of them. And it was those small groups that really made a dent in the Roman Empire. We see this today in the U.S. with smaller groups that are more dangerous than large ones. So with all this taking place in Rome, the next problem that they run into was a competitive empire from the east. 
So there was another group called the Parthians. They were equally as good as the Roman Empire. So even though they would try to get the better of each other, it never really worked. So they were just opposing forces, which made them decide to sign a peace treaty. This arrangement with Parthia and Rome reminds me a lot of the U.S. and China today. This led to the next downfall of Rome, and that was that they had trained barbaric groups to fight, and this made them actually stronger than what they imagined, so they were later invaded by a group who attacked Rome. And that's the same as we see today. A lot of U.S. military has trained the Middle Eastern soldiers to fight like we do. This could be our downfall because teaching other people how to fight like us also teaches them how to overpower us. And this led to the next problem. Big militaries bankrupt big countries. Rome found out big power, big countries, and empires lead to a lot of enemies that want to attack and take what's theirs. This led to raising taxes again. Their economy got hit so hard with this problem, and it led to the unrest of the Roman Empire. They could not keep up the military to protect what they had worked so hard to build without bankrupting their own people. Their debt was through the roof, and they were becoming weaker and weaker as they went. And this led to the downfall of patriotism. Their own people quit caring. They lost faith in their own government, their empire, and everything that they had believed. There was so much debt, and things were looking worse and worse as the empire went on. So, the final straw that broke Rome was lack of patriotism. When the people supported the empire, when the people believed in the empire and that they were still good, they would fight so hard for their own empire. Now, with the economic collapse, military issues, and greed, the people no longer trusted its empire. They didn't trust what they were doing. They didn't have faith that the empire cared about them anymore. And you can understand why. We see this happening in the U.S. today, and it's been going on for a long time. So how much longer can the U.S. keep up? I, for one, am very patriotic, as in I believe in our country. I believe in the people that stand for our country. But I do question our government, its power, what it does in foreign countries, its decisions morally. And I think when we get to a point where we start questioning morally if our government is what they claim to be, if the people that we elect are really fighting for us, if our vote really counts, or if we're just pawns in their game, then we're looking to fall just like Roman Empire did. And I think the biggest fall of the Roman Empire was ego and greed. All right, let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video.